welcome to my first video for Inktober this year. I know it's already November 1st, for me at least, but I had a lot of plans for Inktober this year and I was very ambitious at the start, but things didn't really work out as I had planned. Um, a lot of freelance got in the way and some personal stuff and also prepping for tabling at TwitchCon was also very time consuming. So this month I only did maybe about half the drawings for Inktober. I recorded all of the good ones at least and I'm going to be posting them, the process videos for you throughout this month. I had planned to post them at least every other day in October, but the videos weren't syncing to my computer and I was having a really hard time trying to do that since I recorded them all in full time instead of time lapse. So the files were like huge and they just wouldn't transfer, but I'm slowly getting them all onto my computer so I can edit them for you guys. So I really wanted to focus on doing more backgrounds for this Inktober and so I wanted to do a piece inspired by a house that I saw when we were wandering around San Francisco last month. We had just come through a street that went through the woods full of eucalyptus trees and then there's this house on the very edge of the forest that was painted black and had plants outside and it was one of those narrow Victorians that you see in San Francisco. I immediately could imagine one of my witches living there so I wanted to draw the candle maker witch sweeping up the porch outside of the house. Just really quick, I wanted to say that today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're in need of a website with its own domain or even an online store, you should try out Squarespace. They have a free trial and if you like it, you can use my code linked below for a 10% off your first purchase. So I have had a lot of practice drawing Victorian houses. I used to draw haunted houses in class. We had a environment design class where I would just draw creepy shadows coming down the stairs and this really brought me back to it because I used to just use ink and charcoal for those drawings. I wish I had painted this piece a little bit larger. It was hard to get in all the details I wanted without it getting a little messy, especially the way I paint um, inking the lines later is always a little difficult when the details are so small. I pretty much did a lot of ink washes to start off with and then I added all of the bright details later on.
be back from the dead And if you want my opinion I let it take me away Only relief is the fall To talk a little bit more about Squarespace, the sponsor for this video. Squarespace is a website building platform. They have so many templates that are really well designed and beautiful. They work over many platforms and you can see how they look on your phone or your computer or your tablet. Everything is so easy to use and if you ever can't figure anything out they have 24 hour customer service so it's really easy to make your first website. They also have templates for every occasion if you need a website for an event, a personal blog, portfolio, a band page, really anything. You just pick a template and it's immediately beautiful looking. <laughs> so if you want to try out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline for your free trial. And if you like it, there is 10% off your first purchase. I actually closed my shop last month and am working on finally transferring it over to Squarespace from Store Envy. I'm going to be opening my shop in a few days. I think I'm going to push it back to November 5th. I will have all my Inktober originals, prints, lots of new stickers, and all of the past Inktobers available as well. So if you want a little more of a heads up for that, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I post all of my updates. I think my favorite part about this drawing is the hidden cats and also drawing the interiors of the house. If you've ever driven through San Francisco and seen some of these houses, 
A lot of people like to display things in the windows. I remember there was one house when I was little that had a giant unicorn like they have on carousels or merry-go-rounds in their window. It was so cool. So I had a lot of fun adding the details and making it look like a witch actually lives in this house. And of course I added a creepy shadow peeking out of the top window. There's nothing wrong with living in a haunted house as long as they don't hurt you. <laughs> So I hope you guys liked this drawing. I had a lot of fun with it. It was a good start to Inktober and definitely pretty ambitious compared to what I'm used to doing. Now that Inktober's over, let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Did you have fun? Did you make it the whole 31 days? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!